Hello, here's a quick video on how to get a repository from GitHub to your local machine. And I'm going to do demo this um, username.github.io um, directory that we made for our homepage, just in case any of you missed it. So um, this link will be in um, along with the video link. So what you want to do is go to this page, and then you're going to click this fork button that's all the way over here on the top right. And when you click fork, what it'll do is it'll make a copy of this directory and it'll put it in your um, your github.com account. So you'll see instead of Alana Reese, it'll say your username. So once you do that, you want to change this from username to be your specific username. So you want to click on the settings button. And then in settings, just change this part. Don't touch the github.io part um, and make sure that it completely matches your username up here. So it should be um, case sensitive, um, all that stuff, just exactly the same. In fact, you can probably just copy copy that and paste it. Um, I um, have already done it, so it won't let me, it complains, but we'll just pretend. Um, okay, so once you do that and you click rename, then you'll, you can click on this link to kind of go back to the main repository page. And, and you can check and make sure this works by going to the, this, the URL that this is now that you have um, changed the username. So if I paste this and I change mine, I have mine um, redirecting to a, a fancy URL, but if I go to alanareese.github.io and I hit enter, then it's gonna take me to the site that I have forwarding to alanareese.tech. Okay, and we can, I'll talk about domain names um, later on. So once we have all that settled, so here's our repository, then we can go to the GitHub. And if this is the very first time you're using GitHub, you can say clone a repository from the internet. You can also, I believe, choose it up here, clone repository. These do the same thing. So we can say file clone repository, and then we get this page. We wanna click on github.io and then we want to find the repository. If it doesn't pop up in this list, you can always type the name of it. So here it is. And then, um, okay, and we can change our local path here if we want. I'm just gonna use the default. So when you install GitHub Desktop, it makes this folder called GitHub inside of documents. And um, I'm going to keep the folder name of the project the same as the repository, just so I remember which one goes to which. Okay, so then I can say clone. Um, I can say clone. Oh, it looks like I didn't delete. Oh, okay, I'll just move this. Um, I forgot to delete the folder that was already there. So, okay, I'll just put it um, here. I'll just, I'm just putting it somewhere. Okay, so um, assuming that you're keeping it in the same place or somewhere more exciting, click clone and then it will dry, it will pull those files off of github.com and make a local version, like a, a local copy of them or a local clone. So you're kind of cloning. When you clone, there's still a relationship to the, um, to the, the github.com server so you kind of have this relationship so then what you're going to do is work locally so i'm going to open this in if i go to repository and then i say open in sublime text or yours might say open in external editor um, as long as it opens it into the editor that you want it to then we can go in and make changes to the file um so i just made funness um, just made a simple change. Then what we want to do is go back to GitHub Desktop after we've finished all of our changes. And then we just kind of verify, okay, yes, I changed this line from this. So red means delete and green means add. And that's kind of how GitHub tracks the stuff. It says, okay, well, this line was deleted and then this one was added. Um, so we have one file that has changes and then we can add the only um, field that's required is this one. So we can say added to header, whatever we want to say. And then when we click commit to master, what we're doing is we're committing 
to the local, like the to our machines version, our machines copy or clone of this repository. So we're still just doing all of our stuff locally right now. And now when we say push origin, we're pushing to that github.com repository up on github.com. So if I click this, so, and I'll show you this. If you go to GitHub right now, and we look at the um, the commits history, the last one was added project link seven hours ago. So we know that our changes are not up here yet. If we go to GitHub and we say push origin, dun, 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 then it's now um, it's now up on github.com. So now our local changes that we committed locally are up there. If I refresh this history um, page, then we will see added to header, which is the thing I just changed. Um, okay. I think that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, alrighty. Thanks.